wildfires continue to burn across three Australian states. New South Wales, the country's most popular state, was left paralysed on Saturday as southerly winds fanned over 100 fires in the region. The town of Bargo was forced to be evacuated in recent days, yet some residents stayed behind to defend their properties. All the smoke and fire basically rushing towards us over the hill. And uh, basically every minute it was probably another kilometre closer before eventually it just hit our fence and we were pretty much there fending the house off. Pretty devastating, catastrophic. Sydney, that lies east of Bargo, has been left shrouded in toxic smoke from nearby bushfires, posing a considerable health risk to residents. Prime Minister Scott Morrison had departed for a family holiday amid the record bushfires. News of this prompted widespread criticism in Australia, something which he addressed after cutting short his trip on Sunday. I get it that people would have been upset to know that I was holidaying with my family uh, while their families were under great stress. They know that I'm not going to stand there and hold a hose. I'm not a trained firefighter, nor am I an expert like those who sit in the next room and doing such an amazing job. But uh, I, I'm comforted by the fact that Australians would like me to be here. Bushfires are normal in Australia, but this year they began particularly early and have lasted longer and have been far more intense. Many scientists and environmentalists say climate change is largely to blame. Australia is one of the world's largest carbon emitters per capita due to its booming coal industry. Prime Minister Scott Morrison has been reluctant to link the fires to climate change, sparking protests demanding stronger action.